Hi foodies, this is Jenny from Jenny's Walk. So today I'm going to make a low budget, no cook, quick and easy dish here for you. You could enjoy with roti, crackers or just by itself. Let's take a look at how we're going to be making sardines. Okay foodies, so I'm going to do that lovely dish for you, sardine. It's a no cook, it's a low cost budget meal. And let's take a look at the different type of sardines that we have here. As you can see, we have the sardines here in extra virgin oil. We have them here in water. Again, another one here, skinless and boneless, like in 100% olive oil. These here, we have them in water with no salt added, which is very healthy. And as we move along, these are all wild caught, as you can see, skinless, boneless. This one is a mackerel. Here's another sardine in hot sauce. So this is something interesting that we have here you can use instead of putting your your chilies you have that there and here we have another bumblebee skinless boneless sardine in olive oil and of course my dear foodies we all know this one in that beautiful island of Trinidad Tobago you know if you're gonna have a can of Brunswick sardine and this one is in olive oil sorry in soybean oil my dear foodies so we're gonna be taking three of these so we're gonna make that lovely dish and here we also have the Brunswick sardine in mustard and dill sauce so this is a very exciting one uh, we have that mustard with a little spice going on there and the dill sauce with a little seasoning in there. And here we have olive oil, sardines again, filet in olive oil. There's another one here in spring water, another Brunswick, lovely there. And while we're in the sardine list, something interesting here, this is the herring. You know that herring is a seafood snack, that's lovely there. It's another, so much brands of sardines over here. Here's another one, skinless, boneless, wild caught. Uh, this one is another wild caught sardine. Lovely. And as we take a look in the bottom here, we have these little Asian ones. Yeah, the Bella. This is another sardine here in spring water. And uh, very interesting in olive oil here. This one is upside down, as we can see. This is the one with um, light sardines. This is in some spices here, organic. And then we have the wild planet wild sardine in extra virgin oil with lemon and lightly smoked so various qualities uh, quality and varieties we have here of the sardines but today what i will be doing for you i'm going to make this uh trini dish so we're going to go ahead with the selected small this is as you can see this is a small sardine and i guess this one here is the regular ones see so we're gonna go in so let's get into jenny's walk let's get home into the kitchen and make that lovely sardine no cook low budget food with some cricks or some hot um fry bake see you in the kitchen okay foodie so in my beautiful spread over here we all know sardines is a quick and easy low budget food as mentioned and so easy you can enjoy this underneath the mango tree swinging in your hammock depends how you want to enjoy it so let me show to you how jenny's work does her sardine so here i have sardines as you see we'll be shopping around there's so many different variety of sardines so i chose the one in water so I'm going to show to you how we're going to clean the sardine. But to get started, the ingredients, here we go. We're going to use some lime or lemon juice. I'm using some lemon juice to calm the freshness down in that sardine. Here I have dill weed. If you don't have dill weed, that's fine. Here I have some cilantro. We're only using the leaf, not the stem. And here is macho cilantro for my foodies who are here in the U.S. This is very flavorful. Here I have some chives. We all know what chives is. For my foodies in the islands who don't have chives, scallion is really, it's the same thing. It belongs to the onion family. So you could use the onion, the top of the onions. And here I have some grape tomato or cherry tomato. If you don't have this, solid tomato will work just as fine. Here I have two cloves of garlic. If you wish to use more garlic, it's all well and good. Here I have one pepper. Now this pepper is... um. It's uh, ahe dulce. My food is in the islands. You will have pimento peppers with a lot of flavor and no heat. That is exactly what this pepper is. I have your shallot. If you don't have shallots, you could use onions, red onions, white onions. Um, any onions, you have regular onions. Chop it up really nicely. And I'm going to be using two birds pepper. 
this is um or chilies as you would call it you have those lovely uh bird's pepper the little one i love that it's very you just grow wild all over it has a nice heat to it and it's very crunchy so i don't have access to that so i have these chilies i'm going to be using this chilies so let's get started so first of all let me get all my ingredients all chopped really nicely the way i want them i'm going to be grating the the garlic and then i'm going to show to you how we're going to clean our sardines Okay, foodies, so here all our ingredients chopped really nicely. My lemon juice here on the side, and this is a can of sardine. So I'm going to show to you how I clean it. It's already taken out from the water. I do not like this little bone in there, so let's open up that sardine. It's pretty tiny, and I take this bone out. Some of you may like this, but I do not like it. And if there's any gut in there, you just take them out. So you just open up your sardines. Sometimes you may get a bigger size sardine. There you go. It's open again and you take this little string out. Now, yes, omega-3 fatty acid, good for your heart, all those good stuff. I understand. But at Jenny's Walk, I just absolutely <laughs> do not like it. And whatever little gut you see there, this is a little gut here. You see the darkness? You take that out. Again, it's all about preference if you wish to. And that little backbone, or oh, that's a whole bone. There you go. Take it out. Just like so. So let me finish up all, and we will be right back to put this lovely sardine no cook together. One of Trinidad and Tobago number one sardine and cricks, or sardine and roti, or dal and rice and sardine. Okay, foodies, so we all done clean all that little bones out i know some of you may like it that's fine you could go ahead you keep yours i do not like it so i took it out so let's put this lovely dish together now so in here we have our garlic our hot pepper and that flavored pepper in goes that and this fork is a bit noisy let's put that in we have our shallots I think we're going to put all in because this, this is two cans just to let you know my dear foodies this is a two can and we have our tomato if you want to add some more that's good and all our green stuff so we may need a little bit of salt because this is in water so i'm going to add a little bit of himalayan pink salt you know jenny's walk love to use a himalayan pink salt there you go, good dash in there, just like so. And dear foodies, if you have lemon, you know I love to use my doTERRA lemon oil. I'm going to put one, that's two drops in there. And I'm going to use some olive oil. Just a little oil to bring back a little oiliness. Why? I do not know, but I know my grandparents used to do that. They used to always add some oil in there to it. And here's our fresh squeeze lemon juice. I got a lot of juice in that little piece of lemon. So we're going to, you add as much as you want, how you like it, to cut that freshness away. Some of you may love that freshness, some may not like, like it at all. And now we're just going to give everybody a good mix. Now this is a no-cook, delightful, quick and easy sardines. It's really lovely with anything. It complements that Crick's biscuit or any crackers or saltines. Roti, sada roti, fry roti, fry bake, floats, fry jacks, whatever you want to call it. You can enjoy this anywhere, anytime. My daughter loved this. She always said, Mommy, you're taking the best part of it, that little bone there. She's in the military, defense, homeland security, ministry of defense, something of that sort. She's in there. And she eats a lot of this just like so. When I make it and I take it out, she said, please don't take it out. Leave it. Let me eat it. She eats it off the can, which I know some people will eat it off the can. So this is all done. And I'm going to get this all prepared for you now with some nice sides. So stay tuned. Okay, foodies. There we go. That marvelous sardine. Irresistible. There you go. And to enjoy this, I have here my rooster sauce. Um, or shiratsa, you could go on into my video, go on into my page and you will see this lovely sauce, how to make it. So you could give that a try. And my dear foodies, what is cricks? What, sorry, what is, um, sardine without some cricks? 
So I am going to show to you a lovely presentation here I want to make for you with a sardine. And I'm, I can't wait to try this, you know. It have been many years I haven't tried this dish. And I think I should try it today. So we're just going to put a little bit of sardines just like so. And if you want to add more tomato, that's all well and good with you. And of course, some lovely fry roti. Who remembers this shape of the fry roti? Everyone, right? So we're going to put some nice roti in there and our crick. Vital supply. Should it add <laughs> vital supply? So let's get this cricks all open up really nicely. And now I see they're coming some lovely tubes. Isn't that marvelous? So let's get that tube all open up now. And this is how you're going to go and serve this lovely cricks. There you go. Cricks and sardine. Who could resist this? So, foodies, I am going to have a Jenny's moment now. Lovely. This looks marvelous. And we're just going to put a little of that tomato in there. And if you wish to squeeze some more lemon, you go ahead, squeeze some more lemon, just like so. That looks marvelous there. And first of all, I want to try the cricks. So you get a little bit, put it on the top, just like so, and into the mouth. Mmm. Wow. Divine. I haven't had this for so very long. That lovely crunchiness that I'm getting there from chewing the cricks. And I'm getting all these lovely flavors running in that we added. The herbs, the dill, the lemon, and the garlic. Really beautiful. I'm going to add some of my rooster sauce in there because it's not really hot. And here is that roti. You know that lovely roti puffed up really big and nice so we have a lovely pocket in there to add that lovely sardine into just like so marvelous and I'm gonna try it now with a fry fry bake fry roti fry jack fry jacks or float mmm where is my coffee Really delicious, lovely dish here from Jenny's Walk, my dear foodies. Quick and easy, do it. So come on in and try it. The, re the recipe for the roti is on my page. Take a look. Marvelous sardine. Who could believe a simple dish in a can could be this divine? It's epic. So don't forget to like and share these lovely videos with your friends and your family. Start following Jenny's work, like and share, and my YouTube channel, subscribe. It's very new. It's out there. Everything is free. My dear foodies, to so each and every one of you in the island, lovely sardines here from Jenny's work. So thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.